like you're saying, do as we say, not as we do. You're telling people to listen to local officials, but in Tulsa, you defied local health officials to have an event that even though you say it didn't result in a spike, dozens of Secret Service agents, dozens of campaign staffers are now quarantined after positive tests. And then in Arizona, one of the hardest hit states, you packed a church with young people who weren't wearing masks. So how can you say that the campaign is not part of the problem that Dr. Fauci laid out? Well, I, I want to remind you again that the freedom of speech and the right to peaceably assemble is enshrined in the Constitution of the United States. Uh, and even in a health crisis, the American people don't forfeit our constitutional rights. And working with state officials, um, uh, as we did in Oklahoma and as, uh, uh, as we did uh, in Arizona, uh, we're creating settings where people can choose to participate uh, in the political process. And, uh, and we'll continue to do that. Uh, it, it, I, think it's, I think it's really important uh, that we recognize how important, uh, how important freedom and personal responsibility are to this entire equation. And, but allowing, allowing, younger, Americans, allowing Amer younger Americans to understand, particularly in the counties that are most impacted, uh, uh, the unique challenges uh, that uh, we're facing uh, in their age group, we think, uh, is important. But look, it's 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 so important that we recognize that, that as we issued guidance to reopen America now two months ago, and now as all 50 states are opening up our country again, people are going back to work. American everyday life is being restored kind of one step, one day at a time. I, I think it's important that we remind ourselves this is not a choice between the health of the American people and a strong economy. There are profound health implications uh, to the lockdowns through which we just passed. 